Hi everyone, Amanda here. Today, we're going to be doing an intermediate advanced strength workout. So let's start with a warm up. We're gonna start with high knees. So we're going to be doing four minute rounds today of two exercises at a time. So we're going to be doing, for example, 10 stationary lunges on each leg. And in between, we're gonna go into a body weight bent arm lateral raise. Let's take it over to a crossover. So we're going to alternate those for 10 reps each. So 10 stationary lunges right, 10 stationary lunges left, and 10 bent arm lateral raises. And then we're gonna go back to our stationary lunges. So we're gonna fit in as many rounds, side to side reach, here we go, as many rounds as we can in those four minutes. And then we'll move on to two more exercises. So I have this armchair nearby for which I'm going to use for push-ups reach overhead. Now the push-ups can be done either elevated on a countertop, a sturdy chair, or from your third or fourth step up. Let's take it to hamstring curls, but there will be options to do them from the floor as well. So if you don't have stairs or a sturdy chair nearby, you can go ahead and do them on the floor. And the in-between exercise will be glute lifts, so that will accommodate that. Let's go to a high knee march. Get those knees up high here. Swing the arms. Nice, easy breathing. Two more. All right, so we're gonna start off with our first four minute round. As I mentioned, it's gonna be stationary lunges followed by bent arm lateral raises. So in our stationary lunge, we're gonna start with one leg forward and we're gonna take that big split stance with the shoulder blades back, we're gonna sink down. Our in-between exercise, we're gonna go into a semi-squatting, really slow controlled lateral raise with a bent arm. All right, so I'm gonna set my timer. So big step forward, shoulder blades are back, chest is lifted, we're gonna go for 10. Let's get ready, here we go. I want you to focus on pushing off of the front leg heel so you're pressing from that heel. Four down, let's go for 10, five, six. Nice and slow here, seven. You can also use a chair or the wall for balance if you need to. One more, and switch. So the other leg comes back, shoulder blades are back. Let's go for 10, here we go. Sink down, pushing off the front leg heel, maintaining your balance, pulling those abs in. Breathe through this. Five, you got it. Six, seven, eight, two more. And then we're gonna bring our feet together into a shoulder width position. Let's go into semi-squatting. Tuck those elbows in, pull the shoulder blades back. We're gonna lift up and squeeze. Ready? Let's go for 10. Here we go. 10, really squeeze those shoulder blades. Nine, pause at the top. Eight, you're pulling back and together. Seven, push through here. Six, keep it up. Five, you got this. Four, keep squeezing. Three, two, and one. Back to stationary lunges. Two and a half minutes left. Ready, here we go. 10, nice and slow. Nine, breathe through this. Eight, chest lifted. Seven, Shoulder blades are back, six, keep it up, five, push through here, four, you can do it, three, two, one. Let's take it over to the left leg. Shoulder blades are back, ready, here we go. 10, nine, squeeze the glute, eight, push off the front leg heel, seven, keep it up, Six, quads should be getting tired here. Five, you can do it. Four, push through, push through. Three, two, and one. Let's take it to bent arm lateral raises. Semi-squatting, elbows in, shoulders back. Let's go. 10, pause at the top. Nine, keep squeezing. Eight, breathe through it. Seven, you can do this. Six. Elbows up high, five, four, three, really squeeze, two, and one.
time. Just over a minute left. So take it forward with the right, shoulder blades back, 10 lunges. Here we go. 10, nine, eight. Keep those shoulders back. Try not to lean forward. You got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch it out. Other leg comes forward. Here we go for 10, 10, nine. Get nice and low. Eight, don't rush through. Seven, keep it up. Six, you got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds left. Lateral raises to the buzzer. The reps don't matter. Here we go. Squeeze at the top. We're going to the buzzer here. Breathe through this. Pause and squeeze. Exhale up. Inhale down. Almost there. Three, two, rest. All right. Grab a water break here. Catch your breath. And we're going to go on to our next two. So grab some water. We're going to move on to lawnmower rows. So for this one, we're going to lawnmower row quickly. So we're doing a fast, powerful movement with a pull back of the shoulder blade, each side for eight reps. Then in between, tricep kickbacks slowly for 12. All right, I'm gonna set our timer. We've got 10 seconds to prepare here. So we're gonna start in a lunging position. And when we reach down, we're reaching toward the shin and we're pulling back forcefully. Let's go for eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, fast pace. Six, five, you got it. Four, three, two, switch sides. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna show you from the side. Tricep kickbacks, feet shoulder width apart. Lift the elbows up, make a fist. We're gonna go back and squeeze. One, two, really squeeze back. Three, you're flexing the tricep. Four, let's go for 12. Five, keep it up. Six, really lift and squeeze. Seven, eight, four more, four more. Nine, 10, 11, and 12, back to lawnmowers, wide stance. Let's go for eight, to the right, here we go. Eight, seven, six, pull that shoulder right back. Five, four, three, two, and switch, other side. Eight, seven, six, five, squeeze it back, four, three, Two, one, tricep kickbacks. Lift the elbows up. Let's go for 12. One, really squeeze. Two, flex those arms. Three, you got it. Four, don't let the elbows drop. Five, six, you can do this. Seven, exhale on the way up. Eight, push through for four more. Nine, 10, two to go. 11, and 12, lawnmowers. Wide stance to the right, let's go. Eight, seven, six, you got it. Five, keep it up. Four, get your heart rate up here. Three, two, and one, switch it out. Eight, fast pace, seven, six, five, you can do it. Four, three, two, and one. Try some kickbacks. Lift up, let's go. One, really squeeze. Two, don't let the elbows drop. Three, chest is out. Four, you got it. Five, six, flex those arms. Seven, eight, four more. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Let's go back to lawnmowers. Wide, here we go. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Minute left. Let's go. Eight, 
seven, keep pushing, six, five, four, three, two, try some kickbacks, elbows high, here we go, one, two, push through it, three, keep it up, four, five, six, halfway, you got this, seven, squeeze, eight, four more, nine, 10, 11, and 12. 25 seconds left, ready? Let's go for rows. So on this, I'm gonna let you know when we're halfway, and we're gonna switch directions. Get ready in three, two, one, switch it out. Last 10 seconds. Squeeze to the buzzer. Three, two, rest. Grab a water break here. We're gonna move on to our next two exercises. So our next two, jump squats, but if you prefer not to jump and you'd like to do a low impact option, I'll show you that option as well. In the jump squat, feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. It's just a small hop. And when you hop up, the heels come off the floor and the toes just clear the floor. It's very, very small jump here. But if you prefer not to jump and you want to keep it low impact, you're going to swing your arms and just pop up. You'll see from the sides that my toes are not actually leaving the floor. So you can do either or, add the jump or don't. And in between, we're going to go into a fast standing side crunch. All right, let's get ready here. We're going to do 12 jump squats. I'm going to start the timer. So, feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. Once again, you can do high impact by adding the jump or you can leave your toes on the floor. Ready, let's go. One, two, nice and easy. Three, get low on the squat. Four, keep it up. Five, six, push through. Seven, eight, nine, three to go. 10, 11, and 12. We're gonna go into 12 fast side crunches. Here we go, one, two, three, keep it up, four, five, squeeze your core, keep it going here, eight, nine, 10, 11, and switch, other side, 12, 11, 10, knee up high, keep pushing, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to jump squats, ready, here we go, for 12, one, two, nice and easy, Three, light feet, light knees. Four, five, get low on the squat. Six, seven, breathe through this. Eight, nine, ten, two to go. And back to side crunches. Ready? Let's go. One, two, squeeze your obliques here. Breathe through. Six, knee up high. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. And switch. Other side. One, two, three, keep it going, four, five, push through, six, seven, eight, you got this, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Back to jump squats, 12 reps, ready, let's go. One, two, keep breathing, three, four, heart rate should be up here, you can do it. Eight down, four more, two left, Back to side crunches, here we go. One, two, knee up, three, four, crunch it out, five, six, keep pushing, seven, eight, four more, nine, 10, 11, and switch, other side, one, two, three, keep it going, four, five, six, you got this, seven, eight, four more, nine, 10, 11, and 12, Minute and a half left, jump squats, let's go. One, two, three, keep pushing, four, five, six, you can do it, seven, eight, nine, three to go, 10, 11, 12, side crunches, let's go. One, two, push yourself, three, hurry should be high here. Keep it up, keep it up, seven, eight, Nine, ten, two left. 
and switch. 12, 11, 10, keep pushing. Nine, eight, you got this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, jump squats. 45 seconds to go, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more, nine, ten, two left, and side crunches. Now, there's 28 seconds left here, so the reps don't matter. Because we're going to the buzzer, I'm going to let you know when to switch. Almost there. Three, two, switch sides, 14 seconds to go. Last set here, followed by a water break. You're almost there, five left, five left. Three, two, one. Grab some water here, catch your breath. Heart rate should be pretty high here. Catch a breather. And in the meantime, I'm gonna demonstrate our next round. Now, push-ups. As I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be using the chair. The reason why I like to elevate my push-ups is because I find I can control my shoulder blade retraction a lot better. So I'll show you what I mean by that. When I'm in the push-up position and I'm elevated, I can pull my shoulder blades back and down as I lower. Now we're not gonna be using them that slow, but you get the idea. Now, you can use your third or fourth stair. You can use a steady chair, kitchen countertop, whatever you've got that's really sturdy. But if you wanna do these from the floor, that's cool too, because our in-between exercise is going to be a glute lift. In this position, I'm gonna be lifting and pressing my heel out from a bent position. So if you're doing push-ups on the floor, you can go from a kneeling position and do the same movement here. All right, so let's get ready. We're doing sets of eight. Eight push-ups, eight glute lifts, right, left. So I'm gonna start my timer. I'm gonna get myself into that push-up position. Now we've had a little bit of a break, so heart rate should be coming down a bit, but still elevated. So press the heels down, shoulder blades back, let's go. Eight, seven, exhale up, squeeze those shoulders, six, Pull those abs in. Five, four, three. Focus on that shoulder blade retraction. Two, and one. So I'm gonna go into a folded position with my right leg. I'm gonna angle the heel down. Let's swing the leg out and lift up for eight. Ready? Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Squeeze that gluten hamstring. Four, three. Two, one, switch it out, other leg. Eight, seven, chest is out, abs are in. Six, five, four, three, two, it's a powerful movement, one. All right, let's go back to our push-ups. Eight reps, heels down, shoulder blades back. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, pull the shoulder blades together. Five, keep it up. Four, abs are in. Three, two, and one. Back to glute kicks, ready? Right leg, let's go. Eight, swing it up. Seven, fast pace. Six, press the heel out. Five, four, three, squeeze the glute. Two, and one. Switch it out, here we go. Eight, Seven, six, keep pressing. Five, four, just over two minutes left. Three, two, one. Back to push ups. Walk those hands back, heels back, shoulder blades back. Ready? Let's go for eight. Eight, exhale up. Seven, really focus on your shoulder blades squeezing. Six, keep it up. Five, four, Three, abs are in. Two, push yourself. One, glute kicks. Right leg, here we go. Eight, seven, six, breathe through. Five.
five, keep pushing, four, three, two, one, switch it out, ready, eight, seven, six, five, you can do this, four, press the glute, three, keep squeezing, two, one, back to push-ups, just over a minute left, push-up position, heels back, shoulder blades back, for eight, here we go, eight, seven, abs are in, six, keep it up, keep it up, five, squeeze the shoulders, four, three, heels press down, two, and one, glute kicks, flat back, let's go, eight, seven, strong core, six, five, push through it, four, three, two, switch, let's go, eight, seven, six, five, keep squeezing, four, three, two, one, back to push-ups, 24 seconds left, so we are going to the buzzer, ready, let's go, reps don't matter here, go to the buzzer, keep pushing, stay steady, heels down, abs in, almost there, eight seconds left, you can do this, last push, last push, all right, grab a breather, grab some water, a little bit of recovery here, so, moving on to our next round, we're going to go into a staggered good morning, so in the staggered good morning, I'm going to have one foot back, so my toe is aligned with the arch of the forward foot. I'm going to place my hands behind my ears, but if your shoulders are really tired, go ahead and put them down on your legs. That's totally fine. So in this position, we are going to hinge from the hips, getting a stretch in the hamstrings. And in between, we're going to go into a pulsing squat. So four straight minutes of legs, but we're alternating between hamstrings and quads. So lots of glutes here though. All right, I'm gonna show you from a 45 degree angle. So right now, I've got one foot back. Pull your elbows back or in front of your thighs, ready? Let's hinge from the hips. We're gonna do six on each leg. Two, hinge forward, pushing the bum back. Three, press your heels into the floor. Four, keep it up. Five, one more here, and six. Switch it out. Other leg comes forward, as I mentioned. Put your arms down if you need to. Six, if your shoulders are tired from the push-ups, that's fine. Five, you're still gonna, gonna get that stretch. Four, breathe through. Three, keep it up. Two, push the bum back, and one. Let's go into 12 pulsing squats. Really wide stance. We're gonna start squatting, pull the elbows and shoulder blades back. Here we go, one. Two, stay low. Three, press through the heels. Four, chest is out. Keep it going. Seven, eight, squeeze. Nine, ten, two more. Eleven, twelve. Stagger good mornings. Stagger the feet. Place the arms behind. Pull the shoulders back. Here we go. Six, hinge from the hips. Five, get that stretch. Four, bum back here. Three, you can do this, two, and one. Let's switch it out. Other leg comes forward, flat back, pull the elbows back. Here we go, six, five. Squeeze those hamstrings, four. Keep it up, keep it up, three. Push the bum back, two, and one. Back to pulsing squats, wide stance, Squat down, let's go. One, two, three. Push through the heels, you got this. Keep it going, keep it going. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Hinging, stagger, good mornings. Ready? For six, let's go. Slight bend in the knees. Six, press those heels down. 
five, hinge through the hips, four, keep it going here, three, abs are in, two, and one, other leg comes forward, ready, let's go, six, minute and a half left, five, squeeze those glutes, four, three, keep it going, two, and one, pulsing squats, wide stance, shoulders back, let's go, 12, 11, push to the heels, 10, 9, chest out, 8, 7, keep it up, 6, 5, you can do it, 4, 3, 2, and 1, stagger good mornings, 6 and 6, here we go, 6, hinge forward, 5, breathe through here, 4, keep it going, 3, 2, and 1, Switch it up, other side. Here we go. Six. Bum back, chest out. Five. Four. Keep it up. Three. Two. 20 seconds left. One. Pull squats to the buzzer. Let's go. 15 seconds here. Stay low. Water break coming up after this. You're almost there. Five to go, five to go. Three, two, one. All right, grab some water. Catch a breather. So, up next, we're going to go into something new. A single leg squat. It's going to be a, a bit of balance involved. So, I'm actually going to turn my chair around because I am going to use the back of the chair for balance here. But if you want to try a few reps without balancing on anything, you totally can. So I'm going to show you from a 45 degree angle here. So in this one, I'm going to lift my leg up like I'm doing a quad stretch. And then from here, I'm going to single squat down. Now, you won't be able to get all the way down in a really deep squat here. If you can, that's awesome. I'm only going to be going about halfway down and I'm going to do six on one leg, six on the other. In between, I'm going to go into alternating punches. So placing my hand on the back of the chair, holding on, I'm going to set my timer and get into position here. I'm just going to jump back a little bit from the chair just to give myself a bit of space so my arm is lengthened and I'm going to move into a squat. So I'm going to squat down six. Try to stay light on your fingers. You can have it there for balance, but you don't want to use it by hanging onto it really tight. You just want to have it there if you need to place your fingers on for a little bit of grip. Two and one. All right, let's switch it out. Other side, jump my foot back. Let's go for six. Here we go. Six. And one side is going to feel maybe a little more challenging than the other. My left side definitely feels more wobbly, that's okay. Four, two more, five, and I definitely need more assistance on this side. Six, all right. Punches, alternating for 20, let's go. Two, four, strong punches, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. All right, let's take it back to our squats. Pop the foot back. Let's do six. Here we go. Six. Try to get as low as what you can. Five. And try to maintain a flat back. You might run a little bit. That's okay. Do your best. Three. Two. And one. Let's switch it out. Pop it back. Ready? Let's go. Six. Five. Keep it going here. Four. Push through. Get low. Three. Challenge that quad. Whew. Two. Abs are in. One. Punches. 
Let's go. Two, four, six. Keep it up. Eight, 10, 12. You got this. 14, 16, 18, and 20. Back to those single leg squats. Hop it back. Ready? Let's go. Six. Get nice and low. Five. Push yourself here. Four. Breathe through this. Three. Get low, get low. Two. Focus on the heel. One. All right, switch it out. Whew. All right. Ready? Let's go. Walk it back. Six. Five. Now for me, I find I can't quite go as low on the left side. That's okay. Do the depth that feels comfortable for you. Two. One more here. And one. Punches. Let's go. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Push through. Ten. Twelve. Strong punches here. Fourteen. Sixteen. 18 and 20. Another round. All right. This should be our last round here. Here we go. Six. Five. 30 seconds left on the buzzer. Four. Three. Two. And one. Switch it out. Ready? Here we go. This should pretty much take us to the buzzer. We're almost there. Two, three, four, almost there. Three seconds left. Five, one left, and six. All right, grab a water break. We've got one more round. So we're gonna go into a core round. I'm going to use my beach towel as a mat. We are going to be doing leg lowers to start and single arm shoulder pullbacks. So I'll do a quick demo of both and then we'll start our timer for the last round. So for our first one, leg lowers, our head is going to be flat on the floor with the lower back gently pressed down. So we engage those core muscles. Hands can be wherever's comfortable for you. We're gonna lower down slowly, touch the heels to the floor, and then lift back up. Our in-between exercise, we're gonna go to a seated position, and we're gonna go into a shoulder raise, touching fingertips from the floor, pulling back. And when we pull back, try to get behind your ear. The goal is to push the range of motion. So. We're going to be doing sixes of all of these. So let's start our timer and six leg lowers. So heels are pressed up, shoulder blades and lower back are pressed down. We're going to slowly lower. Ready? Here we go. Bracing the core. Six. Touch the back of the heels down, back up. Five. Now, when we come to our seated position, this one uses a lot of hip flexor. So sit up however's comfortable for you. You might need to sit cross-legged to give your hips a break. Two more. Five. One left here. And six. Let's come up to seated. So in this one, we're going to touch the fingertips down and we're going to raise up. Ready? Here we go. Six. Pausing to pull back. Five. Lift your chest so you're sitting as tall as you can. Four, pull that shoulder blade back and also down. Two more here. Two and one. Let's switch it over for the other side. Ready? Here we go. Six, pulling the shoulder blade back. You're trying to pull next to your ear. Of course, shoulder flexibility is very different for everyone. So you may be able to go a lot further than me. Or you might be about the same, a little, little uh, inflexible through the shoulders. One more here. 
All right, let's lower it down. So we're gonna go back to our leg lo lowers, head, neck, and shoulders down. Let's go for six. Here we go. Heels are out. Brace the core. Six. Lift up. Nice and slow. Five. Now, if at any time your hip flexors are starting to get too tight in this combo, you can switch to a crunch or a side plank. Either one is fine. Anything to brace your core here. Two. And one. Let's come up to seated. Shoulder raises. So I'm sitting up tall, starting with my arm in front. Lift up. Ready? Here we go. Six. Nice and slow. Five. Pulling that shoulder blade back. Four. You're pulling back and down. Three. Two. And the goal here, one, switch sides. If you're wondering why we're doing one side at a time, it's that you want to try to prevent twisting. So in this movement, there's gonna be an urge to kind of twist to pull your arm back. You want to keep your shoulders square to the wall. Four, two more. And if you do two at a time, you won't have to prevent that twisting. And one. All right, let's lower it down. Just over a minute left. So we're going to go to our leg lowers. Ready? Here we go. Nice and slow. Six. Breathe through it. Five. Abs are in. Four. Keep it up. Keep it up. Three. Almost there. Two. Brace that core. And one. Up to seated. So once again, we're going right to the buzzer here. We're gonna pull back. Now there's 36 seconds on the clock left when we started this. So we're gonna do 18 seconds on each side. So I'll let you know when to switch the reps. We're not counting here. Breathe through, three, two, switch. 18 seconds left. <sighs> Sitting tall, pulling back. This is it, this is our last round before we stretch. Make it a good one. Work that shoulder, rest. All right, lots of hip flexor there. Let's stretch them out. So we're gonna go into a happy baby stretch. So we're gonna hold on to our shoelaces, roll down, and then pull our knees and our feet down toward us. So we're resting, relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders down to the floor. Stretching through the lower back and hips here. Nice, easy breathing. And I'm going to pull one knee in. The other leg is going to come out. So I'm just holding my knee down, pulling toward me. Try to relax your shoulder blades here and relax the other leg. So I'm pressing the back of my shoulder blades down to the floor, pulling that knee in. So as things start to relax, we're getting a bigger stretch through the hips and the lower back. And let's switch it out over to the other side, holding the leg in, pulling the knee down, and just try to relax that other leg, pressing the back of the shoulder blades down into the floor, Catching our breath here. The last round was a little slower than the others, the pace. So your heart rate may have come down a bit in that last round. So cool down is mainly just the stretching here. All right, let's go into a spinal twist. We're gonna bring both legs up and we're gonna make a T with our arms and just gently drop those legs down toward the floor. So you're gonna readjust your arm position. So you're relaxing the shoulder blades down. And just let your legs hang down toward the floor. Breathe through this. All right, let's take it over to the other side. We're gonna bring those legs up, flop them down to the floor. And then once again, just readjust your shoulder position slightly, wherever is comfortable for you to drop the shoulder blades down.
breathing through it. And let's bring the legs up, out into the middle. We're gonna flop our feet down to the sides and then just gently slide forward. We're gonna stretch out the lower back. Now for this one, I can only go my fingertips as far as my ankles. Of course, I want you to go wherever is comfortable for you, but it should be a very gentle stretch through the lower back. So just a nice gentle stretch here. Relaxing the upper body. And let's stretch out the adductors. We're gonna bring our feet together, holding onto our shoelaces, lift through the chest, pull the traps down. Relaxing the shoulder blades down, breathing through this. And let's stretch out our chest. So sit up however is comfortable for you. Clasp your hands behind and then pull the shoulder blades back and down, sitting up nice and tall. And you might feel this through the mid back as well, depending on posture and if your back is tight. Breathe through. And now that we've sit up so tall, now we're going to reach forward relaxing those same muscles and let's slowly lift back up we're going to go through wrists so we're going to place our hands so that the hand is hanging off just next to the knee we're going to lift up pressing the palms out and then we're going to lower down pressing the palms down just moving gently through that up and down, stretching. Pulling the shoulder blades back and down as we sit. And make circles with the wrists. And switch. And shake it out. We're all done for today. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great long weekend. See you again next week.